Now that we have our ultimate default category, we're going to begin to look at the other types of categories that are included in a bot. The first type of category I'm going to create are so-called simple atomic categories. And the way I'm going to do this is by creating a new AML file. English and other languages are governed by a principle called ZIPF's law, Z-I-P-F, ZIPF's law, which means that certain words and phrases occur much more frequently in the language than others do. In fact, you can rank the order of all the words and phrases in the language. Now, generally, in most languages, the most common types of phrases are very simple uh, salutations, such as um, hello and goodbye. Please. Thank you, and so on. So we need to come up with original responses for each of these very common type of input patterns. In the case of hello, we'll just simply have the bot say hi there. In the case of goodbye, the response template will be something like see you another time. And for please, Please can be uttered in many different contexts, so we want to have a, ver a fairly vague sounding um, reply. And thank you, or thanks. The response should be simply, you're welcome. Now, if I didn't make any syntax mistakes in this file, I'm going to save it as a file called atomic.aiml. And the reason it's called atomic is that none of these patterns contain any AIML wildcards. They simply consist of words by themselves. Okay, so now we can test these new responses with a simple conversation in the training section. I'll say hello. Now the bot says, hi there. I'll say, please. The bot says, how can I help you? I say, thanks. The bot says, you're welcome. And if I say goodbye or bye, the bot says, see you another time. Now, the next group of categories we're going to consider are called wildcard categories. And the reason they're called wildcard categories is because they contain the AIML wildcard. Let's create a file that contains AIML wildcard categories. In <coughs> English, for example, uh, it's very common to begin a sentence or input with the word I or you. So many of the inputs start with the word I, but then um, the bot may not recognize any more words after the first word. In other words, they're matching the AIML wildcard. So in this case, we understand that the person is saying something about themselves, but we're really not sure what it is. 
So a good strategy in a case like this is to use a, a random list of responses. And the idea here is to try to give the bot the illusion of intelligence even though it doesn't really understand very much about what's being said here. So a good uh, clever response in this case might be, uh, tell me more about yourself. Or, I did not know that about you. Or, thanks for telling me that personal information. And then we'll finish off this AIML category. And similarly, another very common type of input involves the word you as the first word. So we'll simply copy and paste our category here and modify the responses using the same form of random list. And when someone says something beginning with the word you, they're obviously telling you something about yourself. So you can say, do you think a lot of people are? Or do? And no one ever told me that before. So we're going to save this in a file called wild, indicating that the patterns in this file contain wildcards. And again, we've uh, encountered a slight syntax error here, and uh, it's telling us that we misspelled the tag category right here. So we'll save this as the wild file. And again, we've got a syntax error, probably because we cut and pasted the form of the category. Now we should be able to test our bot by having a conversation. Let's say I am talking with you. Well, now you do know that about me, that I am talking to you. You are a good conversationalist. Thank you for sharing your opinion.